Hello everyone, it's Lel, and in this video we're going to talk about episode 10 from Tokyo Mew 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 Season 2, or episode 22 from Tokyo Mew Mew Mew. This was a very heavy episode emotionally, and this was like the girls arranging themselves before the final battle. For that reason, I thought this was a super, super interesting episode, and we also had some nice explanations uh in relation to the aliens, which I also found interesting. So right at the start, we have the explanation of the plan of the aliens. They want to eradicate the humans from Earth, and they need to destroy the environment for that so that there is a balance and the Earth will be able to restore itself without the humans in it. And the girls are ready to fight to protect Earth and to protect the planet and the people they love. But Ichigo isn't ready. Ichigo hasn't paid attention basically in anything that is being said. She has, she only has in her mind one thing, Aoyama. Uh, in the episode previous to this one, we discovered that Aoyama was the uh, deep was deep blue. Ichigo discovered that Aoyama was deep blue, the big villain behind all of this. And she is still processing that information. She is still not being able to deal with this fact. But Aoyama isn't there anymore. There is no Aoyama. There's only Deep Blue. And the girls are ready to fight back. Except for Ichigo. So they all get their powers ready. They all use their powers. But Ichigo ended up protecting uh, Deep Blue. Because in her mind, it's still Aoyama. It's still the one she loves. And it's understandable for her to think this way because I feel like the last few episodes worked very well with her relationship with him so uh, and her feelings for him, so I do understand it. But she ends up attacking the girls to protect Deep Blue. And I really liked this scene. I feel like Tokumi Mew, uh, Tokumi Mew Mew at least, I mean, Tokumi Mew in general, you know, it's a, it's a very traditional show. As in, it doesn't experiment very much. Uh, and this scene was very artistic. This is something I, I, would, I would not expect from Tokumimunu at all. And I really liked it. The, Ichigo's moment, Ichigo's desperation, Ichigo's uh, mind. Like, there was no mind in Ichigo at that moment. She was so desperate. She was still, she was so out of herself. She wasn't thinking straight. And she ended up attacking the girls. And I feel like visually... This scene really packed a punch. It was amazing. It was so well done. She was so out of herself that the whole show went out of the way to create a scene that is super out of what Tokumiu Mew Mew is. Loved it. Artistically, super, super on point. And when she got back to herself, the show also got back to itself and returned to what it usually is. When she started to understand what she actually did to her friends. Love this artistic take on this very impactful moment of the show. But there wasn't much time for Ichigo to try and understand what she did because Deep Blue was ready to kill Ichigo. And we, we finally see Kishu stepping up and saying, let me deal with Ichigo don't do anything to Ichigo. Uh, Kishu did this in the manga. He did this in the original. And he will probably do it in Tokyo Mew Mew as well. There are probably going to be strong and important moments with Kishu further down the road. But the one who ends up saving Ichigo here is Shirogane or Alto, his cat form. Even though Kishu wanted to be the one to save her as well, uh, the other villains, the other aliens stopped him. And, you know, even though they were ready to kill Ichigo, there was no chance because now the Earth was being destroyed. And uh, it's very nice how the Earth started, like, shattering and the buildings started crumbling. I mean, like, how... I mean, the show is not about this, and obviously the show won't address this particularly, but how many people are going to die on this particular action that was taken by the aliens? I mean, lots of people must have died already. And then uh, we see this scene of uh, each of the girls waking up, Shirogane getting Ichigo, and all of them, you know, walking towards Cafe Mew Mew. 
I like this scene because we can see their motivations for standing up and fighting again. Another thing I like about this is Lettuce uh, trying to talk to Madeleine, who is an alien she got to know in her focused episode when she went to the past. Very nice. They always go back to it because Lettuce is the only one who has at least a little bit of the perspective of the aliens inside the show. So it's very nice that they're remembering that. That is not forgotten. That episode wasn't there for nothing. It had a very important reason and it was not just for Lettuce to learn something in that particular moment. It's still weighing heavily on her heart. And I really like that. And I also love each of the girls' motivations in this. And I really like uh, seeing Ichigo's uh, cell phone falling down and her seeing the Cafe Mew Mew uh, phone case she has because, you know, it reminds her of the girls and it just gives her a lot of guilt because of what she did before. And then we get to the Cafe Mew Mew scene. I really love the symbology in all of this. Things are rumbling, things are destroyed, but um, they are there. They're there together, having some tea, eating some biscuits, because that is what brought them together in the first place. So in moments like this, why not get it all and try to rebuild uh, using what has made you strongest in the past? I love this scene. It was very nice. But one thing was that even though the girls were all trying their best to stay optimistic and have a little power to fight, Ichigo was not able to come to terms with everything that she's done and she wasn't able to come to terms with reality at all. She didn't come up straight to the girls and said, look, I'm sorry, I hurt you. I was not in my right mind. She was not ready to do that. And so Mint took her and she was like, Ichigo, come up. This is not the usual Ichigo we know. But she, Ichigo was so traumatized that she was not able to deal with things. And Mint was trying very hard, but Ichigo would not let go of her own feelings and of her own guilt. And look, I have to say I love Mint in this moment. I love it. That slap, it was like, girl, wow. <laughs> the girls were shocked. I was shocked. I know she does this in the manga too, in another situation. Uh, but I really like the way it was done here because this, I feel like this is a moment that was needing something like this because Ichigo, yeah, she was dealing with her feelings or she was actually not trying to deal with her feelings and with what she did. She was like in a blank state of mind. And, you know, when you're traumatized, I get it. That makes sense for you to be like that. But... These girls are remembering Ichigo, especially Mint is remembering Ichigo, that they are in a desperate situation. They don't have time to soak in and let the feelings process. They have to deal with it right now. If they don't deal with it, they are going to die. That is the only way of seeing the situation. Earth is getting destroyed. The aliens are destroying everything. They are the only ones who can stop them. If they don't stop them, Earth will die. So Ichigo, deal with your feelings. And that's what Mint did. That was able to wake Ichigo up and Ichigo was able to deal with it. She was able to cry and cry a lot. She was able to say that she was sorry to what she did before. And the girls understood her. Obviously, it's understandable. She was in a super stressful and traumatic situation, just like the other girls were. Mint was also traumatized. The slap she gave Ichigo was also out of desperation and trauma. And they were able to get this, get together in this moment. They, they all hugged each other. They all connected again. They are very good friends. And this moment made them come together as a group, as a family, as friends, as they already are, and understand that they have the power to stand up and to fight again. And there is another thing that this episode dealt with a little bit, which was Shirogane. Shirogane was the one who was behind Project Mew Mew, and he was the one who turned the girls into magical girls. 
he was the one who created everything. I mean, his father did and he, his father started and he continued. And uh, right now, she, he is feeling very guilty over what he did to the girls, especially to Ichigo, because, you know, she was the most traumatized one. Because apart from the world being destroyed, she also lost Aoyama in all of this, even though it was not necessarily his fault. But he told them one specific thing that changed the course of everything, which was, Earth has chosen you. It wasn't me who chose you. It wasn't anyone else. Earth has chosen you five to be the protectors of Earth. Because there is one, another interesting aspect of Lettuce, which is uh, because she meant the aliens, she is able to understand their argument a little better than the others. And she says, what if they're not wrong? What if what they're doing is right and we are in the wrong? Because if you think about it, you know, she's not entirely wrong about this. The one thing is that I, I think it was her who said it, I don't remember, or it was Zakuro. The problem is in the way that they're doing it. Because, you know, we're humans and we're obviously going to defend our own existence. So fighting back is our only chance of be being alive. So it makes sense for us to fight back, even though their argument makes a lot of sense. And that's what they do. They stand up, they transform, and they get ready to fight one last time. And I really like this. They use their weapons to create a new power. But... We have this power-up of the girls with angel wings. I get it. They are going after the Mew Aqua, which is above Tokyo, based on the signals. So they needed wings. Okay, so the problem I have with this power-up, it's not exactly a problem, but if I were to create the power-ups for the girls, I would enhance their animal... Uh, characteristics in their costumes and like Ichigo would be more cat-like, you know, Mint would be more bird-like, you know, things like that. But since they all need to fly, they all need wings. But I guess uh, having them have more animal characteristics in their power-ups would make more sense for each of the girls. You know, unfortunately that won't happen, but still they are ready to fight again. I, I think this scene was very cute and it's like, um, very symbolic, seeing Cafe Mew Mew half destroyed and the five girls going up for their last battle. Like, they're all very determined to protect Earth, and Ichigo is obviously very determined because of Aoyama as well. Aoyama's there, or Deep Blue is there. What can Ichigo do to get him back? Ichigo's ready. The girls are ready. Let's see what's going to happen next episode. I really like this because... Um, this moment is anime original in for the most part and it was very good in my opinion very very good i think uh this was a very necessary episode before the last battle so i would love to see i i i am very uh excited to see the last battle of this show i cannot wait to see what they're gonna do and last last night i dreamt that they announced season three of tokumi new with Mewberry. I hope my dream comes true after uh, after this this season ends because this is definitely going to be uh, the last season. I mean, it's gonna follow the manga up until the end of the manga. I mean, not follow the manga like perfectly because they're changing things up, but it's definitely going to finish this arc of the story at least. Anyways, this was my opinion on this episode of Tokumimu New. Season two is almost coming to an end. We have two more episodes to go. I think, if I'm not mistaken, two, three, but nonetheless, I'm very excited. Anyways, babies, this is it for now. I want to take this little time to thank the members of the Magical Cinema channel. If you are a member, thank you very much for your support. And if you've watched up channel, thank you so much as well. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye-bye.